I don't think that Thomas Wayne would have viewed heavy arms manufacture as a suitable cornerstone for our business. That's 20 years ago. Fred Davis. I think after 20 years, we can allow ourselves to stop thinking about what Thomas Wayne would have done. Good morning, Mr. Earl's office. Vice President of Operations, Douglas Fredericks. Is there logic to any of this, or is Bruce Wayne just manufacturing parts for some expensive toys he wants to play with? Lydia, the space program not only put a man on the moon, but it introduced the world to Velcro. But we're talking about stealth rotor blades here. I mean, where is the practical use in that? What some may consider niche or off-the-wall technology, we view as doors to the future. And our strides through those doors will strengthen this company and the community around it. The, the apple has fallen very far from the tree, Mr. Wayne. Can you tell us what you did? I was a groundskeeper here for 30 years. You still have some great memories of the Heineken Cup. Oh, yes. I saw some battles here. Did you ever go and see them in the new stadium? What is that? Yeah, that happens about this time every year. It's as if the place remembers. So many people have great memories here. Sometimes you just get a sense of them. Never did know how to explain it, though. Did you talk to her? You found her this morning. <laughs> what do you mean, found her? Her body. We also found a hammer with two types of blood on it. One type, I assume, will match the bloke you put in hospital. All her fingers were smashed. You must have tortured her to get the combination. I didn't touch her. We also found some interesting items at your flat in this shoebox under your bed. Among various items reported missing by the deceased last week, we found these pairs of ladies' underwear. Are they hers? I assume so, since we found them stashed with these passport-style photographs of the deceased. We also found this pearl earring exactly matched the one worn by the deceased at the time of her death. A little trophy. No. It was Cobb who planted it when we turned over her place. Go and collar him. I gave you his address. We checked the address you gave us. There's no Cobb there. The flat belongs to a Mr. D. Lloyd. He's just returned from holiday. And he told us that while he was away, his flat had been burgled. Not much was missing. But his new credit card hasn't yet arrived. Well, that was Cobb. We used it to pay for a meal in a restaurant. We found this at your flat. It was Cobb who stole it. Is that your handwriting? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't quite see myself. No. Yes. Yeah, yes. Could you kindly direct me to the march, Shirley? Have you come to identify someone? I think he might have been killed in this fire. How well did you know Mr. Jangayo? We used to work together. He worked for me as a sous chef. We got on. Always kept in touch. He was like a nephew to me. Is that a glint in your eye, Mr. Lees? I've nothing against Britain. I made a lot of money here. I like the Queen. No, what do you? The Queen Mum, I knew. A customer. Ricky wasn't a terrorist. Motor cars. He loved. And a Catholic. Oh, yeah. He was that, all right. A lot of them Filipinos are. I do not exist. I'm only a thought. 
an idea, a shadow from history.